Pretty close. Brie and Shay. Thirty-ish. You can see like the little neck, the vein on your neck pop up. Did you up. see my vein? Yeah, yeah it did. You got up to out. that high register. Yeah, except that I was probably just screaming in everyone's ear. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Thirty-ish. That's our. Intro That's it. That's right there. Hi, everyone. My name is Bree. And I am Shay. This is our yes. podcast, guys. This is our podcast. This is why we're here talking to you right now. Because we're 30, and uh, we want to throw down some knowledge, mm-hmm. but not really anything that <laughs> anybody really wants to know. Let's be honest. Just things that we know, and uh, yeah. we want you to, uh, to listen, and if you want... Yeah. No, we don't. Uh, edit that. What's the lingo? Yeah, it's fine. Cut that. Let's cut that. <laughs> the lingo. Edit that out. What's the lingo on that? All right. Um, shit, I lost my train of thought. Well. It's because this grape drink. It is. The grape drink, not the other drink. No. No. It's we don't grape. say that on 30-ish. It's Concord drink. It's Con- <laughs> Yeah. It's Concord drink. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's good. Great anyway. organic anyway. Concord juice vodka drink. Yeah. She could drink a Concord drink. She drink a vodka drink. Yes. She drink. Um, uh, oh. I need my beans. Yeah, you do. Anyway. Okay, so. 30-ish. Shay. Brie. Sitting in a room. Talking about everything. Things we want to talk about. Yeah. And our first episode will explain a little bit about what we will talk about. Yeah. Um, but we just wanted to give you a little actual introduction. With yeah, because we kind of forgot to do that. We were really nervous. It's been so. It's been fun for this first episode. Yeah, so we're, we're uh, just figured we go for round two. Yeah, we are. We're gonna rain it in and rain it down. No, I thought you were gonna say out, but rain it out. That's fine. Bring it out. Bring them yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. It's fine. Just keep drinking your drink. Uh, I think I need to go make some eggs. <laughs> Do you want to? No. Okay. Anyway, so uh, what made you feel 30-ish this week? Well, not 30-ish, which just made you feel 30. Yeah, I'm not 30-ish yet. I'm just 30. You're 30-ish. Well, By a long together shot. Together, we're 30-ish. Yeah. I'm 33, to get specific, unfortunately. Get real specific. Um, I felt 30 this week when I'm really drinking this fast, you are. but keep going. Um, it's okay. I don't remember why I felt 30. Is that maybe a reason why you feel 30? Cause you can't finish a sentence without number. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was, <laughs> it was probably when I had to, what word did I have to Google this week? It's usually when I have to, like, Google the definition of a word. <laughs> I'm like, but that doesn't make me feel 30. It just makes me feel stupid. Well. So, um, I don't I know. think just the fact that you can't remember something. I felt 30 because I can't remember why I feel 30. Exactly. But I know it was something to do with a word I Googled. That's why I feel 30 mm. this week. Doesn't matter. We're having fun. So it's true. It's true. Cheers to that. Yeah. With my already yeah, half really drink and drink. We're trying to just. That's awesome. Um. Okay. So, so anyway. this is thirty-ish. This is thirty-ish. This is us. We but hope you not. enjoy. We hope you keep listening. Keep. Yeah. S- tuning keep on in because yeah. they're only going to get better. They will. They will. They, they really won't tighten will. up, but um. They'll They're be good. They're only going to get better. They're only going to get better. I don't know really why I felt 30 this week. 30 this week. Yeah, you didn't tell us. I didn't because I don't, I don't really think of it. I can't really think of anything in specific. 
I haven't been on any horrible dates lately, so that's been awesome. So I haven't had to go home to my cat and telling him that he's the only man I need in my life. So that's <laughs> pretty cool. Um, that is good. Yeah. Yeah, it's a big step up. My eyeballs hurt because um, I got that, like, fucking permanent tattoo bullshit on my eyes. So <gasps> my eyes are a little tired. Yeah, so this eyeliner. Yeah. Permanent makeup. What? I, yeah. You got it? It's. Let me look at it. Oh my god. Ow. Yeah. It didn't hurt because I took. Uh, well, I did take. It well, looks like eyeliner. Yeah. Well, that's the idea. I would hope it would be like, it looks like a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> that looks really good. Oh my Are you god. doubling for, oh, that's for what's your face? Placing Game of Thrones? What? That's exciting. Yeah. Well, so I mean, they it was free. Like, tattoo it. Yeah. I have a friend um, in town, and she just needed a model, so I was like, all right. But it wasn't until I got there where I – because she did my eyebrows, which I'm still Vaseline on them. Um, not Vaseline, but aqu- aquifer. But um, she did my eyebrows, and I was like, all right, I'll go and, you know, I'll be a model for you. But you're doing it, right? And she's like, oh, yeah, absolutely. It was like a few weeks ago, and she did my eyebrows, and she was the one that did them, and that was great. Good. So I assumed I didn't even ask her. For my eyeliner, I was like, okay, yeah. So she's like, so can you be here uh, on Saturday, you know, 9 a.m.? We'll do your eyeliner. I'm like, awesome, great. Same group of girls, and I was laying and getting all numbed up, and they were in the other room. And she's like, okay, so you're going to do one eye, and you're going to do one eye. And I sort of got my eyes, thank God they were not all in there, because my eyes were so fucking massive. Like, I didn't want to be like, you didn't tell me that, like, on the other <laughs> side of the wall. <laughs> But I, I'm such a chicken shit. I don't, you know, <laughs> you know, voice my concerns and be like, uh, how about they not do that? Because I thought it was just me, you. But I, I don't know. I just get so nervous with confrontation and everything else. And I, this would be if, if any of the times would be to like, let go of that fear and voice like really use my voice yeah. now would be the time for somebody taking a fucking needle to my goddamn like under my eyeball and so i'm so like it'll be fine my head will be fine and my the, like my gut was like going open your fucking mouth <laughs> say something but no but it, thank okay god it turned out fine because she actually yeah, so great. the teacher did she traced it I was and like, she, I was gonna say your yeah, makeup was she, really Yeah, she she traced it and everything today. else, and she did the top a little bit too, and um, then they just went went and it, they numbed me up, and then I took a tram at all, so I felt fucking great. Really? <laughs> yeah, felt fantastic. Is that like the stuff they? What is that? It's like it's pain medication. I I think it's, I don't think I don't it know. You again, like I'm. Like, I've never really, I've never really uh, experimented with pills, so I don't know the differences That's between like. Good. Um, oh. who is it? He was Chris. He can wait. Okay. Are you sure? Uh, um, maybe not. Um, what was I saying? Oh, see? This is why I feel 30. I can't even, like, fucking finish a train of thought. So, tramadil. Yes, yeah, so tramadil. So, I've never experimented with drugs, so I don't know that, I don't know if it's, like, a step down from Xanax or if it's the same class as <laughs> Xanax, or if they, you know, they're like a cousin Chris twice removed from Xanax. Xanax. I have no idea. The other day, so, so I don't know. <laughs> what? I like didn't know. I was like, wait, Xanax like makes you go to sleep, or it's an antidepressant? Isn't it? it it's it's it, it just chills you out. Xanax is the one. It's anti. It's a uh, anxiety medication. I know it's the one everyone's addicted to and wants right? to get out of their mom's. Right. So I don't, I honestly, I'm so ignorant, which maybe it's a good thing. It's a good thing to be ignorant about, but I could never be a pill popper because I get so nauseated. Like yesterday, I, when I took the tramadol, I was nauseated for the rest of the day, but it fucking made me feel good when I was getting that little, uh, when she was like, I'm nervous. I'm like, could you stop saying that when you're, and she, she, yeah, she she was was like, yes. And I, I, I wanted to open up my eye, but I was scared to because <laughs> she, she was like, are you doing? I know I'm like, you should, I'm like, I kept coaching. I was like, you're doing great. And I was like, you're doing so good. She's like, I'm really nervous. I don't want to stab her in the eye. I'm like, Oh my God. But still, How even when she, was she 18, no, she was probably like rough, maybe a little bit younger than us, but like, 
I, she can't be saying that shit. Right, but I didn't. That's I don't know. One I was rule more afraid of, of hurting school. hurting her feelings because <laughs> I was like, it's okay, but I didn't want to like be like, yeah, you should stop fucking saying that with that in my eye or near my eye, <laughs> and um, because I didn't want to embarrass her in front of her peers. Like, how fucked up is that? Like, even at like thirty three, I still can't be like, um, how about no, Scott? Like, I don't. I can't. No, I'm such a wuss. It's hard to hurt it's, people. I, I'm a very sensitive soul. But very. You have to learn. Yeah, that I should. It's, it's it was stupid. Thank help. God. You it, know the best about yourself. Right. So it, I mean, fine. thank God it came out fine. But like, what if it didn't? What if she like sneezed and she went like, and she kept saying "oops," and I was like, <laughs> "What the fuck?" <laughs> right. <laughs> And even then, it's like, and even <laughs> then, I was like, I'm sure it's fine. It'll buff out. I'm sure it'll buff out. It'll be fine. So I need another do-over. I, I, that's exactly what I kept thinking, and I was like, don't laugh. But I'm just like, I just need one more do-over. I'm like, great. Great. Uh, great. But it's also my own fault because I didn't, like, say anything to her. I could have <laughs> I could have easily been like, okay, I'm done now. I'm going to go home with my eyeball's still intact. Did Again, it came out fine. Did they have a needles at Kmart? <laughs> exactly. That's exactly how I felt. Oh, my God. That is so... But I couldn't say jokes it like that. It looks great. Yeah. No, I thank God. I she was saying oops yes. a lot. I know. Thank God. And it was only on this eye, on my, on my left eye. So it came out fine. It could have been worse. But the point is, I still, even after like the sixth oops, I, she still, I was still like, it'll buff out. It'll be fine. It'll be great. It's going to look fantastic. So wait, they fantastic. numbed your eyelids? Yeah, so they just take like, I don't know what they do, but like you have to keep your eye closed because if it gets in there, it just kind of burns. They just put like some <sighs> saline stuff and it, 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 it's not like that. It's, no. It just irritates it. So they just put like some numbing shit on the top and the bottom of the lid and um, yeah. And it take it tickles more than anything. It doesn't really even hurt. So, it hurt. I mean, I, yeah, it didn't even hurt. So, that's crazy, right? So I got good. that done, but it was for free. I don't pay for that shit. Hell no. Mm-hmm. I'm a I'm a bitch on a budget. You gonna oh. give it to me for free? That's fine. Okay. So, so. today, we are. We're do, what are you, you're doing? Science. Yes. And I'm doing nostalgia. The topics we rolled. Yeah. Uh oh, nostalgia. I forgot you got nostalgia. Yeah, I got a good one. Well, I mean, it's just something that I grew up with. So, well, at least well, that is literally the definition of nostalgia. Yeah. Well, one of them. them. Well, I did a little something on science. (laughs) And are we gonna learn some stuff? Yeah, you are gonna fucking learn some stuff, and you're gonna want to save the Earth. Am I? If you don't already want to save the Earth, Shay, I, know, I already you're do. Want to be I like, mean, Holy I, shit, I cut up we my need um, to fucking save some I shit. cut my little Coke can plastic things. You you save the dolphins. Hey, they also are saved from They're ducks. Saved. One of the can from I just fish? You're right. I can name off some other creatures, but I can't think of any right now. You're right. I am right. I mean, that's very smart. You're very right I on know. that. Um, it saves, I don't know. It saves lives. We need to just not use plastic and use hemp products. Yeah. That well, that's very true. Toxic. Anyway, right but they don't that. make them. I mean, they do. Anyways, what am I talking about? Not anyway. like, they don't like mass produce them though. Not I like was plastic. going to, one of my ideas for this was I was going to research about how, um, Dolphins, speaking of dolphins, they go um, seek out little puffer fish because and talk to them. when make Disney's friendships. Yeah, I knew kind it. of. It's kind of Disney. They should definitely do a Disney movie about what I'm about to say. So they seek out little Better. puffer fish because when puffer sh- fish get scared, they like blow up, you know, and yep. they secrete this like chemical. And dolphins get high off of it. And Dude, so dolphins, dolphins man, they are more like human. They like they sex. They like sex. They like to like get high. high. And they are fucking happy dolphins. creatures that save other creatures. I've heard about them saving yeah, other I've animals. Heard, like, but yeah, they like to get high off puffer fish. 
they're like, I'm going to scare you, motherfucker. A boo! And then they're like, <laughs> yes, I yeah. just got high. Is that why they maybe like they do the sound that they do? Because they're just high as fuck? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, my God. That was definitely not Wait, what no. a dolphin sounds like. Maybe when it's dying. Maybe. Hopefully a dolphin choked. has never sounded like that. Mm-hmm. But anyway, so sorry. Dolphins like to get high and have sex. So... Go on. They're like humans. Oh. Yeah. I mean, that's what I was maybe going to research a little bit more. I but, like this um, is, that would be a good one. For I decided scenes. to, um, I read this article um, mm-hmm. from Facebook, actually. <laughs> it wasn't, sure it was wasn't like clickbait? something someone shared. <laughs> what? Something someone shared oh, about God. what the UN is doing right now. Oh, okay. Um, and they're launching this program. It's like a call to action, and it's going to be from like 2021 to 2030, and it's going to be called um, A Decade on Ecosystem Restoration because we're fucking ruining the earth and the ecosystems. We are. And we're tearing down all the forests, and we're ruining the oceans, and we're just like, um, you know, letting mass what did i read the other day they're like not to get political but we're letting um them do all this like off-site shore offshore like testing of like like nuclear like they're basically setting off nuclear bombs in the ocean for testing basically and it's just Perfect. oh it's fine because it's under the ocean um the ocean literally we need it to survive so uh in order for everything else just like everything else so anyway we're just fucking up the planet and it seems like no one's doing it i mean people are doing things about it but it seems like right for me it's not enough it's it's just not enough but it's also like is anyone does anyone like are the powers that actually have control over doing things about it doing anything? And at least the UN, it seems to be there trying to do something. And I was reading this article um, about this decade on ecosystem restoration, and um, it gave me a little bit of hope. Talk about it. So I guess I'll talk about it. (laughs) And... Insane. We can cut it out yeah. if it's stupid. I'm not going to cut it out. This is your story this week. It's maybe dumb. No, it's not. It's, it's talking it's, about the ecosystem okay, and so everything else. Okay, so the is United not dumb. Nations issued this massive, massive global call to action, and it's to mobilize the political and financial support necessary to restore the world's deforested and degraded ecosystems that we've been continuing to just fuck up over the last however many years of industrialization. Um, So they're trying to do this because they um, are hoping that it will support the well-being of 3.2 billion people around the globe and more than 2 billion hectares acres an area which is an area larger than South American contest, continent can be restored. Well, maybe I shouldn't read when I'm drinking. It's fine. I mean, so you're gonna- basically with this, they're trying to restore two billion hectare hectares 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 hectares. Um, Not a hectare. That's a. And they think that they can do that with this initiative that they're launching. Hell yeah. Yeah. So. Um, it'll run from 2021 to 2030, so it'll be a decade almost. Um, and it will, like I said, address the severe degradation of landscapes, including wetlands, the oceans, and anything in between over the um, worldwide. And um, it will likely boost landscape restoration work to the top of national agendas, building on public demand for action on issues such as climate change, biodiversity loss, and the resulting impacts on economies and livelihoods. So um, it's going to bring about hopefully change in a lot of other areas that need changing. So like 
the biodiversity loss. Um, one thing I was also reading about is how fucked up our food system is and our farming industry. We know how and you feel about that from last episode. We know episode. how we feel about that. Um, oh yeah. And, um, like pesticides using pesticides is just like ruining, um, the soil and every, like the microbes that live in the soil that help produce and build the land and ecosystem pesticides obviously are just killing that. And then the pesticides are running off into the rivers and then those are running off in the oceans and like the Gulf of Mexico is a giant runoff fucking gross pond, oh, like lake size, I don't know, thing in the, in the Gulf that yeah. is just, awful. it's, it's horrible. It's and worse it's than awful. It's, it's poison and it's killing people and it's giving us yeah. cancer and it's like legal and it's just like, how is this? Okay. <laughs> so, um, one man named Tim Christofferson, um, he is a chair of the global partnership on forest and landscape restoration. He had an interview with, uh, landscape news. Um, and he said, we have to conserve what is left Stop the bleeding, but also give the patient earth a blood transfusion. These things need to go in parallel. There's a clear understanding of that now, and the broad movement for restoration now has many years of experience. Um, I just liked what he... That's a, that's a, that's I thought a that was a great very, quote. very yeah. way to put that yeah. and kind of put it into perspective. Um, and yeah, we've just been like taking so much out of the earth for fucking years. Cause yeah. we're like, we're human beings. We're like, we're just going to give you like an IOU. Is that fine? Yeah. That's cool. Like, okay. Oh, we'll get back to you. Yeah. It'll be fine. Like, yeah. I mean, all these other people that started this whole thing, like yeah, they're dead now. So they're not going to see the, you know, that's true. They're not going to see what happens after all this shit and how we keep I mean, technology is incredible, but let's use the technology to not ruin the earth. No, and it's not absolutely like, true. I heard something about how we want to like bring mining back. Like, let's restore the mining industry. I didn't hear about that. Yikes. Uh. Anyway, I can't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> So anyways, land degradation is estimated to cost the global economy between 2 and $4.5 trillion a year, while economic benefits of restoration efforts could annually reach an estimated of $84 billion a year. So, like, let's stop degrading the land. Right. Let's, like, yeah. spend money on things that are going to restore it, and we'll actually... Maybe you guys don't think that it'll help, but it actually could wow. save way more money than what we're fucking spending right now on just ruining our earth. Um, at least 7 million hectare, he, I can't even say it, hectares. I've never heard of that term. Of tropical. So you could be making it up and I wouldn't know. Forest lands. Don't worry, I'm going to tell you the, it's 2.5, wait, it's 2.5 acres. Is a hectare? Hectare? So how many hectares? Hectares? Hectors? So they're saying um, seven... So, okay. At least seven million hectares of tropical forest landscapes are cleared and degraded each year. So seven million times about two and a half is how many fucking acres? So like 14, at least 14 million, million, million acres. Yeah. Yeah. That's fucking like 20 million acres. It's a lot of, a lot Every of acres. Every fucking year. Tropical rainforests. Like, do you know yeah. how many trees it's are true. in? Like, it's crazy. Um, and those put the livelihoods, biodiversity, and food security at risk while exacerbating the climate change conflict and human migration. Also, um, about the putting people's livelihoods in danger. Like, obviously, mm -hmm. everyone in the world's livelihoods in danger, but... There's also tribes that still live in the jungle, like yeah. in the tropical rainforest. Oh, 1,000%. Like, Absolutely. Indigenous yeah. uh, people. Yeah. And also, there. I don't know, have you ever heard of the show Human Planet? Mm, I don't think I've heard of that it's one. It's like the same people that do Planet Earth, but it's oh. not really about 
animals. It's about like human like tribes like and okay. different people. Yeah, different. Cultures. I've never heard of it. I've never obviously watched it. And but. I think they go. I think it's in South America. There's probably different tribes all over, but there's legit tribes in the jungles that we don't even know about. Mm-hmm. Like that we're just finding out about these tribes that literally don't know about anything like modern civilization at all. Like, Which is, isn't in, that mind insane blowing? to me? Because I, I mean, I get like that makes it's the world is so massive, but that's so small at the same mm-hmm. time. And that is what's so mind boggling. Yeah. But I just can't imagine that. But if, I mean, if they don't, you know, if they don't have any sort of technology to, in order to kind of, or want to venture out like how, but even the fact that we haven't been able to touch that, civilization yet is insane to yeah, me that they're discovering tribes that we've like never right. known about that like which live is in the middle actually of the honestly the insanely jungle. sad that we've kind of reached that yeah that and just, we're just like like taking machete and just like whacked it until we have gotten to that yeah that spot and it's it's actually kind of horrible because yeah. it's not like we're we're discovering them on terms of like oh yeah we just want to kind of see you know what's what in w- yeah. what like undiscovered country We've gotten to them because we have def- like just participated in this horrible deforest. What's that word? De- uh, deforestation. Deforestation, and gotten to them in that way, which is horrible. Yeah, it's fucked. Yeah. Spartan my language. Spartan my oh. language. They've um, listened to the first episode. They're fine. The what? Your language? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't have one. Um. Anyways, so the decade um, on ecosystem restoration is also going to target the coastal and wetland areas, which have been declining even more quickly than terrestrial ecosystems. So coral reefs, which is another very sensitive subject because they're dying all over the place, they're projected to decline by a further 70 to 90 percent with what will be left then with the 1.5 degree celsius rise because of well, global warming be left in the because there'll be nothing left yeah 70 to 90 have you seen picture i think i saw i don't know where i had um seen it but um it was like some picture of like the coral reef like the great barrier reef like from in 1990 to where it is now it's like this vibrant rich colorful mm-hmm. ecosystem and then it just looks dead. That's the only word I can say that it just looks dead. Yeah, it's just all white. And it's like not this. even. It just looks almost like brown. There's yeah. and there's no life. Everything just looks like it's barren. It, it's really super yeah. sad. And there are there are groups that obviously are trying to restore the coral reefs, especially and this. But they can't. Keep this up with it. Um, initiative. They're really hoping to help do that as well. But there's. Um, well, I hope they succeed. I mean, this we've been talking about coral reefs for at least very seriously the last like yeah. fifteen years. I feel like mm-hmm. I want to say at least from my memory. So I feel, and I there has been an actual like they've been able to save some coral reefs. So it's like there's hope out there for <clears> them for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, but they're calling this initiative the decades, just so I don't have to say the whole thing. Yeah. So the decade will accelerate existing restoration goals. Um, so one challenge they're doing is called the Bond Challenge, and it aims to restore 350 million hectares of degraded ecosystems by 2030, which is That's fucking a lot. amazing. Which is awesome. Um, it is at an estimated cost of about $800 billion, though. But to date, some 57 countries... Wow. Um, Subnational governments, private organizations, they've committed to bring more than 170 million hectares. It's fine. Hector, hectares? I keep wanting to say hectares too. Under restoration. Lots of hectares. Hector. Hector. 107 million hectares and they're from around the world. A lot of hectares. Um, I don't even know yeah. that many hectares. I don't think I know anyone named Hector. I know one Hector. Does he live one. on a Hector? He doesn't. He lives in a very small apartment in Austin. Oh, I love Austin, Texas. It's a good one. Um, Good hectares. So yeah, they're the restoration of 350 million hectares of degraded land by 2030 could generate 
an estimated nine trillion dollars in ecosystem services and remove an additional 13 to 26 gigatons of greenhouse gases from the atmosphere. Damn. So what's a gigaton, you ask? Yeah, I didn't know what a gigaton was. <laughs> a fucking gigaton. Um, Sounds like it's a, a term unit like, of um, explosive force equal to 1 billion tons of TNT. Wow. So, first of all, I'll just repeat what I said before. Restoration of the 350 million hectares of degraded land by 2030 could generate U.S. could generate nine trillion dollars in ecosystem services and remove an additional 13 to 26 gigatons of greenhouse gases from the atmosphere. Like. That's already a fuck ton yeah. of shit in the atmosphere. It, yeah. Like, it's just gross thinking about how much stuff we put in the air. And I mean, I drive a car, so I Which, should shut my mouth. It, but how can you not? I mean, what are I you going to do? Yeah, I you live in Windsor, out in the middle of nowhere. But and... did you, have you, I also read something um, earlier this week about how Denver is um, one of the most... Uh, it's actually five times more polluted than uh, Tokyo. Have you heard about that? What? Yeah, I, I'll have to find that article and send it to you, but I've heard, I've read, I can't remember what the source was, but it, it said that it was about five times uh, more. It is like, gross driven. The air there. quality was five times worse than the air quality in Tokyo, which is insane, right? And actually, when I looked on like my my phone and I looked at my app for like weather, it said, um, the air quality must, um, the air quality is, will, is like sensitive to some people or some groups. And I don't even know what the fuck that means, but does it, does it kind of lump into that where, what the fuck is in our atmosphere? (laughs) Yeah. Uh, that's fucking weird. Right. We should do that as a topic. Science. Science. Because I'm interested in that. That's it's gross. I really mean, scary. I f- would hope Denver's not grosser than like driving, like being in LA. Well, I would think that if it's worse than Tokyo, gross, that's way it's worse. it's worse than Tokyo, then it's worse than LA. No offense to my Los Angelans, but you guys have a lot of people over there. And there's a lot. There's a lot. But yeah, sometimes, I don't know, it's, it's gross. I hate when I drive into Denver and it's just like oh, all smoggy and nasty. See that layer, or when you fly fly into LAX, it's just like the sky and the layer, and you just like go down into the gross brown layer yeah. of smog. It's nasty. I'm sorry, it wasn't Tokyo. It was Beijing. Still, I just it, it's gross. So um, anyway, let's try to. Um, reduce our greenhouse gas emissions, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Right. Um, So our global food systems and livelihoods of millions of people depend on all of us working together to restore a healthy and sustainable ecosystem for today and the future. And I think that's part of the problem. Like, in the past, like, I feel like they must not have even thought about, oh, in 100 years, how is this going to be okay using these chemicals using these you know emitting this poisonous gas into the air right. how could that be okay a hundred years later but like I were mean, they you, it was right. just like about a quick buck like i don't know like obviously it took a bunch of money to like create these things but right but i mean people don't they, it's all about like kind of the, the bottom line and that's you know but what's stand by uh oh! Did the door just shut? It's because the heater turned on. That is or terrifying. The shut it. Don't like. It. Anyway, um, we should just like. <laughs> but this is a, yeah. Anyway, but I mean, I really think you know it's just. That, but, but think about like what in a hundred years, like the revolution that we've gone through. I mean, they weren't thinking about the ramifications. They were just excited about learning how to do You're things right. bigger and better, better and faster, and ama- like just ten times more amazing yeah, than yeah. what their even their you know their 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 father ha- had seen. So, but it's amazing how much damage 
in that frame of time has done to the planet. It's been in, in the just, last... Right. So just think about that. Like, however... How, how old is the planet? I don't even know. Well, however old 4. that is... 4.6 billion years old Perfect. or something. Is yes. that what I learned in second grade? I don't even know. At Apparently, I, I skipped that day in class. But, I'm sorry. The Earth is 2,000 but it, 19 years old. But just even kidding. for as long as, like, humanity has been, you know, it existed on the planet, like, it's... It pales in comparison to what, you know, the damage we've done in only 100... Maybe even 200 years. Yeah. It's... It kind of is staggering. It's so, crazy. Yeah. It's, yeah. So hopefully we can uh, reverse it. Yeah, people just have to care and be conscious. Like, even if, like, so the thing about, like, like seeing what they do at slaughterhouses and stuff, it's right. like, people choose not to watch that because they don't want to know about it, but it's like, everyone should watch it so right. they do know about it. So, like, yeah, okay, I eat Chick-fil-A. Right. Like, a lot. Right. I shouldn't. It's delicious, But, like, I'm, I probably don't eat it as much because I know. Right. But also, it's just good to know, like, Where it comes from. Where it comes from, what's actually going on. Like, I'm not perfect, obviously. Nobody is. Uh, No one is, but, like... And even if you don't even know about it and you see that, like, it'll help you cut back on, right? like, um, not sponsoring, hmm. um, supporting those kinds of places right. or supporting those kinds of brands that do that or, you know. I mean, honestly, there's so many options today that. You know, you Which really can be a little more conscious about it. Started yeah. being conscious and actually yeah. knowing, and people were showing the truth, yeah. and it was it made a difference. And that's we just don't get me wrong. That. I like myself some freaking big nuggets sometimes, and that's okay. But you know, just have some balance. <laughs> yeah. Think and about the other options, but you know, everyone's freaking human. It's true. So yeah. Um. Oh, some ambiance. I have some papers. Uh oh, this was just a little fun fact yeah. about the degradation of the land. Um, there's many areas. This is just like a thing, uh, just an effect on farmland. So there's a bunch of areas of Minnesota and multiple places around the Midwest. Um, but Minnesota is prime farmland and they now face the problem of having dangerously elevated levels of nitrogen in their drinking water because, um, the fertilizers that commercial farmers are using are just high in all these things that they think plants need. So they're just like, oh, well, we'll just give them these chemicals so then they'll be able to grow. But really they actually need the natural things that are produced in the land to actually survive too. Right. But now... Um, because they're pumping so much nitrogen and like potassium into the soil, they're getting this stuff in their water now and it's like linked to causing cancer and all this other stuff. And this shit is legal and it's crazy. Um, so basically to make a long story short, um, don't be an asshole. Don't be an asshole. Be conscious of, you know, what you're doing. And also I just wanted to share that the UN is trying to launch this yeah. decade of I like restoration it. and I thought that was cool that someone is doing on a huge level the UN right. on an international level just like just one yeah. of the things that they're trying to do which is awesome to, um, save us all because really we're just on slowly a sinking killing ship. ourselves yep. so um it's like yeah. taking like a bunch of water out of the sinking ship and putting it into a lifeboat and then putting it back onto the ship. Yeah. Uh, analogies. Metaphor analogies. Oh, metaphors. Is that a, Jesus fucking Wait, Christ. is that right? No, the analogy metaphor, is no. as? Yeah, metaphor. I'm an idiot. I, no, you're not. I wasn't and... even tr- I was just saying like metaphors and analogies are what? Yeah, I don't, yeah, it's metaphors. Like this analogy 
A gigaton is equivalent to a billion metric tons. A yeah. male African elephant might weigh a ton. At most, 6.8 metric tons. So, that's a fuck ton of ele- elephants. <laughs> Aliens? Aliens? Elephants it's of greenhouse gases that we put into the air every yes. day. But yes. Yes. Anyway. Anyway. That's pretty much all I had. I was going to go into more about the food system, but then I'll just probably get really mad. <laughs> that's okay. You can get mad. Um, I was just going to say that... That's what, that's what this whole speaking to the speaker is all about. Your that's thoughts. True. Your wishes. Um, your hopes and your dreams. My dream is for us to live in a healthy, safe world. Full of love. Which is what I thought Michael Jackson always preached Oh, about. no. Well, he did. I mean, you're not wrong. He just, you know, liked to do other stuff on the side. You know. Like everyone. Mm, I know. No you're, one does. Which is upsetting because you haven't even washed it yet. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm really scared for you. That, like, legit, though, that's our next episode because yeah. I have to watch it. Yeah. And we'll talk about it and uh, and see It'll what you think. It'll be a three-hour special. Yeah, we'll see what you think. Podcast. Well, I'm I'm kind of curious to see what you whether you believe them or not. I mean, as much you know. I'm just curious to see if you how much you believe, or if you believe all of it, or if you believe some of it, or what your thoughts are when you take it away. Take it away. Speaking of taking it away, you should take it away, Shay. Take it away. Oh, look at you. Just because I don't want to talk anymore because I'm going to get more mad. You're fine. You had some, a little break and had some eggs and beans. beans. I don't know why I was Cassoulet. looking at you like, help me with that vegetable. Is that a vegetable? A bean? A legume. I'm going to edit this out. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm a, a, I get confused because tomatoes are fruits, and I don't know. I know. I'm pretty sure beans technically a vegetable. It is. I'm it is idiot. a legume vegetable varietal. Yeah, it must be all this ink I got injected in my eyes. Yeah, you're well, just, not in my eyes, but the vicinity. Yeah, that. Definitely anyway, you're so <clears throat> we're gonna we're gonna shift from a topic that should be discussed to a topic that really doesn't need to be discussed no, and it is the topic I of know. my cover letter no it's <laughs> i'm i'm you're doing two things cover letter? sure not um and your resume no this i since i did nostalgia mm. i picked a bear that was near and dear to my heart winnie the poo no hey. so no we're doing a very different teddy bear um, child's is, play. Ch- Just kidding. Child's play. Anyway. Uh, no, Teddy Ruxpin. <gasps> so I'm going to do the a little history on Mr. Teddy Ruxpin. Wasn't he I, possessed? Not mine. Oh. He was just like a... Like, he talks, like it's a, right? He was like a felt-covered brick. Hmm? Yeah, he, he talked. talked. He, you put like a... And he blinked? He blinked. Like, they would say that he would be um, in sync with the oh. story he was he was telling. Mm. But it was mostly like like this dead stare and it was just like and then you're friends forever. <laughs> so <laughs> Um Shay just blinked really weird yeah. and well, you that's guys pretty much it. how Mr. Ruxpin was. So Mr. Ruxpin. So I'm gonna do a little history because uh he was one of my first Those toys friends. that I can remember. No, he was I had friends. I did not just Go Fuck to- <laughs> you! My stuffed animals were my best friends too. Well, maybe because some of my friends were mean to me when I was little. Sometimes, <laughs> so I talked to Tigger oh. and my dog. I don't think I ever had a Tigger. I never had a dog because my parents didn't love me. So, mm, you know, that's I'm just kidding. Definitely why. Um, we just had like a farm of cats. Which oh. funny story? Like I actually didn't. You think... are a cat lady. Well, that's what I grew up Grown. with. Grown well, and raised. I grown and raised. Um, I I actually didn't think cats live past the age of like maybe 
five or seven because ours were like outdoor indoor kind of like what you have here and the, we didn't have coyotes the wild yeah but we had like um snakes and i don't know we had foxes jack rabbits <laughs> jack rabbits that ate cats yep um <laughs> sure did um they're the worst yes um they're the worst of the rabbits yes, exactly but we had just what they would just get eaten or run over so but so I always just thought they just died at seven. So, like, I have my cat now, and I'm just like, well, she's getting older. She's six. <laughs> this is this is it for her. But I'm um, like, well, she's in. She got like ten more years. She's probably got like twenty the way that she's living on. So Buddha? I don't know. Buddha, yeah, she's yeah, big, Buddha's. big old fat bitch. She'll just hide under your bed for the next twenty years for the rest of her life, and I'll be like, <laughs> oh, where's Buddha? And I'll smell something. Is she and still? I'll... <laughs> That's horrible. That's horrible. I love her. Well, she shit. Well, that's um, okay. Anyways, no, I'm just Teddy. kidding. I'm just kidding. Teddy Ruxpin. All right. We're dropping our mics a lot. Yeah. I've had like four drinks, so yeah. It's Seven. fine. So, just kidding. Shh. Only only three. Anyway, oh, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just going to do a little history on Mr. Teddy Ruxpin, because uh, he's like one of my first toys that I can remember. And I had, he was your friend. He, wa- he was my friend. Um, so for those who are not over the age of 25 and don't know what a Teddy Ruxpin is, he is an animatronic children's toy that he would, uh, his, he would like, his eyes would move no, wait. Oh, my God. I need Blink. To... Holy shit. Okay. His eye... Uh, the... Okay. <laughs> I need to just focus and just be committed to one thing. Am I going to go for my memory or am I going to just, like, read what I fucking wrote on the page? <laughs> All right. He is an animatronic children's toy in the form of a teddy bear. Shut the fuck up. Um, and his Formerly mouth... Formerly known as a teddy bear. Ah, <laughs> oh, but there's a twist. So, but... His mouth and his eyes move while reading stories that are played on an auto tape, like a, like for those that you don't know, Wait, like a cassette. Wait, you couldn't change the tape in his body. Oh, were you one of those kids that didn't get to have one? Yeah, remember oh, I told yeah. you I didn't have one. I had a doodle bear. They didn't talk Which to you. Which I just was drew on, on, them. on the other end. I was super jealous of kids like you. But then I, when I like kind of got one and kind of, well, I didn't get, I didn't get one. I would like go over to my friend's house and she would have one. I was you like, this is stupid. Oh. Because every time that she, that we, they're like, you can just throw it in the washing machine. Like you can't throw it and it, it just all disappears. Yeah. That was a lie. It was false advertising. What? Plus, it erased everything almost. Really? Not when Unless you use permanent marker. marker. <laughs> yeah, that's the trick. That's the trick. You have to use the markers that they give you that are very poisonous. But even though my friend, my very toxic markers. Were they? I don't know. Probably. They were just like Crayola <laughs> markers. Um, were they, they crayons? They probably. Fuck you. I'm not doing this. Were they right crayons? Now. Hey, you just know what? <laughs> There's only the two word people word. in Texas that can back me up. That's it, probably. The other ones are like, the other ones are like, hey, we don't, mm, we don't, we don't follow her. the That's, word crown. She's for an idiot. Crayon. We're glad that she left. Um, anyway, <laughs> poor Caddy's still there saying crown. Well, at least her and I can be friends. <laughs> so screw you, <laughs> screw you, screw you. Anyway, um, sorry, yes, Teddy. No, but you could put like he had. I um, what I read it was like he had like sixty different audio cassettes oh that God. you could put in. <clears throat> I think I only had like a couple because yeah, my parents were you like, got, we are not no, getting that for you ever. Well, do you know why? Probably because back then it was 70 bucks, which now is like 159, which I mean, do they a lot of still? I'll get to that. But, um, Sorry. Yeah, just, just hold on. I Brie, am Anna. so interested in that. But so they were, they were, uh, they went on stuff for like 70 bucks. Um, but now it's like $159, but, um, so, I mean, it was a hefty, I mean, it was, hefty a, it was a hefty little bear. Um, but he had tapes that you could like, you could interchange. It was supposed to like help kids read and stuff like that. And he would like, and it was amazing. It was it's like technology an answering at the machine. Time. Pretty much. It, that's all it was, was an answering machine Inside a teddy bear. in a bear. And they're like, give us $70 for it. But you know, Hey, if you want to just kind of do this. Hook it up to your phone. No, you couldn't do that, but that'd be kind of amazing. Yeah, like that if shit you could, was not. Can you imagine if, then? like, you could actually plug it into your your answering machine? Be like, Barbara, it's your mother. 
Why don't they do that now? Yeah, I would buy it. I absolutely like, would buy that. Like, is Teddy Ruxpin, like, Bluetooth What, now? for, like, like the six people that have landlines? Michael Jackson songs? Oh, man, we're just bringing that up a thousand times. <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything earlier. Oh, you're so sad. <laughs> Wait till you watch it. It's going to rip your damn heart out. I fucking know. It's okay. Anyway. Coming up on 30-ish. Anyway, Teddy Ruxpin. And Rex, <laughs> Teddy Ruxpin. Um, so, um, so he was, yeah, so he had a big audio cassette thing in his back, and you could obviously interchange the tapes. So also, he, that means that he was super fucking cuddly to cuddle with. Super fucking fu- cuddly to cuddle with. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, those, um, those are words. Those are words. Yeah, I just want to make sure that I strung them together and made a complete <laughs> sentence. That's all. Um, sentences are what, what's tough for me, not not words. Anyway, so um, <laughs> it's fine. Woo! Um, but anyway, so he was super cuddly to cuddle with. And heavy. Hashtag he wasn't. He was like an answering was machine like, it was from like, the nineties. He really was. It was like snuggling like a big old honking brick with <laughs> yeah. felt. And then so putting it to real. your face. Yeah, it was like super real. It was like a super bear. hefty bear that ate, like, just protein powder for days. It was awesome. He took steroids. He did. He All the brick. time. All the time. He needed to take and a I, poop. And also, I remember my sister at least, not on purpose, but we would, I don't know why we would, but we would, like, throw stuffed animals at each other. And there was a couple times she would actually <laughs> hurl that thing at me. And I remember that corner of what, like, would be his... His booty would hit me right in the face. Oh, it hurts so bad. He had the corn. Yeah, like the corner of his, like his little his bare butt. His ass had a corner. Yeah, so it would just like clock you right in the temple. And you'd be, oh yeah, my. It would, it, it, yeah. I remember Careful, getting, Simon yeah, Birch. Yeah, Jesus. Pretty much. Put me down, you assholes. Um, you yeah, so Simon Birch, I did, right? that, that was a line from it. Fool. Catch oh up. My. I just wanted to make sure you got it. Yes, I'm not Ashley Judd in this scenario. Don't worry about it. Good. Um, don't. Don't. And, um, well, but it was a real, that was a really good movie, too. Man, we are getting off on a tangent with this one. But that's what the salt is about. Anyway. Mm-hmm. So, tangents. But it was like falling on the corner of a damn table and that thing would hit you in the face. <laughs> um, oh anyway. <laughs> just saying. Your sister's smart for throwing that at you. Well, she didn't like, mean oh, to, but I'm going to throw a tigger at you. I'm going to throw this fucking brick <laughs> teddy bear. This felt-covered brick at you. Do you feel that, Shannon? Are you okay? Shannon! Why are you not breathing? Shannon! <laughs> that was my grandpa just hurling teddy bears at me like that. <laughs> Nobody knows what I'm talking about. I know. I do. Anyway. Okay, so... Shay's name's Shannon. Yes, my my full or name is Shannon. 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 If you're my grandpa. So if you're not my grandpa, it's just Shannon. Then it's or Shannon, Shay. you dummy. <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay, so I'm gonna go to a little bit of the history of this guy. So your grandpa. I'm just kidding. <laughs> my grandpa. Although funny story, I just learned today because we were cleaning up my great uncle's um, home because we we're putting it uh, for sale, and. We we always kind of we always heard my great grandfather told stories that he rode with Pancho Villa and we're like, you fucking liar, put down the tequila you asshole like nobody <laughs> is gonna believe that stop writing that down in our lineage that's bullshit. Found out today he was telling the goddamn truth. That's fucking bad, right? Ass. That's pretty much kind of my peak. I think it's all downhill from here, but it's fine. It's going to come back up with this podcast. It's Don't going you to. Don't worry. We're going to keep the legacy strong. That's what we should have called this. Poncha de podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, fuck that up. It's fine. What anyway. should we call it? Poncha oh, de Oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. God we may have been playing this. with a keyboard today. Yeah. It, it's, it's. Don't edit any of that. That was I won't. perfect. It's, oh, I won't. I'll leave that all in. All for the treat for the ears. Mm-hmm. I don't know what's with all the accents talking and my. my oh, your my, microphone is kind of. I know, because I'm holding it and it just doesn't like to be manhandled. Just anyway. Okay, so. Uh, Teddy Ruxpin was created by Ken Force. Look how phonetically I put this out because I was Good scared job. to screw this all up. <laughs> this is how, how well prepared I was. Anyway. So more, he was created by Ken more. Force. He worked at the Walt Disney. 
uh, theme park division in the 60s and 70s. So he helped design um, the animatronic characters on rides like It's a Small World and The Jungle Cruise, which is kind of cool, right? So this gave him the idea of Ted Ruxpin. He wanted to be able to have the magic of Disney's rides to speak and do all their hoopla stuff, um, but to be able to be accessible into like a child's bedroom. Yeah. So just he's... bring the magic and to be home and not and have to pay a hundred goddamn dollars. Yeah, how much is it to get to Disney World nowadays? A hundred for each per par- a like day? like recently I went to Epcot, so it's a hundred bucks just for that one park. So each park. So but like, you can only go to, like, one park a day. There's there's just too much to do. It's crazy. It's nuts. So you have to spend a week there. You have to. And you have to buy tickets for the Yeah, so you day. have to, like, it's, you know, it appeals to children, but it, you also have to sell your children in order to go. <laughs> so, you know, you have to just kind of weigh it out. Bring your children, but sell your but children sell your here. children. We'll just put them in the back, and it's the small world. And then world you and can actually fine. pay to get in. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, bring them and drop them off forever. It's fine. All right. I would live there forever. <laughs> God. Okay, so... Um, Which is why I would have gone to Neverland. Just kidding. I know. Anyway, so Teddy Ruxpin. Um, <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I'm going to have to edit the shit out of this. <laughs> Just keep drinking your drink. All right, so... He wanted it to be accessible... Inside a child's be- child's bedroom. What? Much <laughs> like check. Oh, t- never mind. Check okay. Ch- 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 All right. Oh my god! I'm gonna die when we watch that. I know. Okay. So um, so he formed his own company in 1982. Um, it's called Alchemy Roman Numeral Two, but just probably two. I'm just saying it. That way, because that's what it because is. Because you anyway. can't see what we're doing. Exactly. And um, started to construct prototypes for the bear to, to shop around to different toy companies. Um, and actually, he isn't even a bear. Did you know that? Is he a fucking koala? Nope. He is, in, is awesome. in Force's mind, he is what he calls an Eliop, which is a creature that looks like a bear, but it's a species in his fantasy world of grundo and this was all something that he made up in his brain yes but he wanted but every time that he would like take it to a toy company it wasn't a teddy bear they when he would try to explain his whole backstory they were like i don't get it what is it i don't understand so he eventually just i mean he still wanted to convey that but he started just kind of i don't know if he actually started pitching it as a teddy bear but some lo- like everyone, everyone kind of knows it as a teddy bear. Um, but he was a what? An Eliop? And it's called an Eliop. So I, f- I feel Eliop. like it was like if like an if, if the furry world had a Lord of the Rings mm-hmm. world. Got that's it. pretty much what this is. Because there's also like a giant caterpillar thing. Do you remember? Did you ever watch the cartoon of Teddy Ruxpin? No. Okay. So there was a giant caterpillar, which I'll talk about him too. But he looked like. He he looked he he was like a giant caterpillar, but like I miss the teddy bear that Ruxpin had world. like but that had like sex with a giraffe because he had giraffe spots and he had legs that had like they four said that in the children's like, movie. No, I'm, I'm just telling uh, you. This caterpillar like. had sex with the giraffe, so therefore now it is a cat or giraffe. Oh my word! No, oh, that's <laughs> a dick. Um, no, he just. He looked like yeah. that, and I'll show you a picture of him. But <laughs> this was a caterpillar of giraffe spots. He was a caterpillar of giraffe. Anyway, so. Can I have a side? Can we have a side note? Haven't we done it? Can we take time? a side note? Side note, pause. Um, yeah. Do giraffes have spots? Side note, Are they this, spots? This, Aren't side they kind note, of square? What? Aren't giraffe spots kind of squarish? They're like squared. No, they're like off. kind of like oval. Like they're like. They're like. Hair. One they're minute, like I, have a, I have a thing. So giraffe is like. Well, he's not this boxy, but it's... Giraffe, I, 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 I know what a giraffe looks like. Well, I'm just showing you for, like, whatever. So, so here's his retarded neck. <laughs> Apparently this one is. Well, it's actually, this one looks like it's been bred with the seahorse. <laughs> anyway, so, and then they have, like, little things like this. So they're not, like... They're not squares. They're yeah, like Yeah, they're swatches. not even spots, They're though. like, they're like, if, well, that one looks like. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Whiteboards are great for the Instagram posts. Right. So this is like 
Okay. I ke- I'm sorry I keep saying like. Um, so it's like continents. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Continent spots. They're like scribbly polygrams. So I was no, just saying like we right. call them spots, but are they we, spots? But they're not spots. They're like, they're just like squiggly, like, like yeah, like on cows. Yeah. Which on, on, honestly, they're like but just I'm African just, cows. They're not spots. No, they're not spots. But I'll show you a picture of Grubby, this space caterpillar or whatever it is. And he looks like he has like a giraffe nose and he's, but in his hands, like I his like legs, mm-hmm. it's. He has, like, four fingers, like, all characters. Like, cartoon characters yeah. will have, like... Like, Bugs Bunny has, like, four fingers Do you know Bob's... Bur- do you watch Bob's Burgers? They have I four do, fingers. but not religiously, which, like, I should. Okay, here we go again. We are not even a fourth way through. Okay. Yeah, we are. This is a pretty short one, actually. Okay, so he was an Eliop, and... An Eliop. An Eliop. So, he was an alien, and I think... Eliop? Honestly, I think King, Ken Force just wanted to... Have this fantasy world and jump on the Lord of Rings and Lord Lord of Rings, uh, Lord of the Rings and Star Wars bandwagon because I mean it shit, was a, it was a mighty bandwagon and it was a popular <clears throat> it was, way to go. It was. Um. Okay. So. Da, 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 da. Okay. He. Th- so he. Um. The first prototype is described as being a big bulky, complicated, and, like, absent of any charm. Um, oh. So it sounds like some nightmare fuel. Yes. <laughs> yeah, sounds so like it was pretty scary. Sounds like he was super snuggly, which is, again, kind of interesting what they ended up with. So um, the toy companies they pitched to passed, one of which was actually HBO, which I didn't even know they produced toys. But then I looked on like online, and they produced a whole – I don't know if they actually directly produce, you know – the toys themselves out yeah. of a factor if they just outsource them. But they do have like a little store, HBO? like Game of Thrones shit. Oh. So I'm, I'm assuming maybe back then they had something like that. Um, was Teddy Ruxpin on like HBO? No, he wasn't. They pitched him to HBO. That's what I'm oh. saying. But HBO passed. But the reason why uh, Force wanted to pitch it to HBO was because he was hoping to be able to have HBO make like a series out of Ted oh, Ruxpin yeah. and, you know, really... His giraffe caterpillar friends? His, yes, exactly. And just be able to make a live action uh, series of, you know, just about Ruxpin and his fantasy world of Gr- Grundo. So... Um, yeah, it sounds legit. Right? I mean, so was... they reconstructed him to something a little more user-friendly. And um, what he ended up being was... What he AKA was. you could hug him without getting stabbed. But it still kind of hurt because it's like <laughs> hugging a lunchbox. So, <laughs> so I'm just saying. Um, so the technology in him was like the compact, the compact cassettes. And so they carried like, uh, they carried two audio tracks for stereo sound reproduction. So he, so they used like, I mean, you know what a cassette looks like. So like. I do. One, <laughs> So one track would be the set, like the story and all that comes with the audio, and the other track would control his like his motor movements of his mouth and his his eyes. So for the 1980s, it was pretty impressive technology. Oh, for so sure. So you could like so you could actually put other tapes in Teddy Ruxpin, but he and they would play, but mouth. he wouldn't move his mouth because it it would just ignore that. You so know. it was like an actual big cassette tape, or was it like remember the answering machines back in the day, and the cassette tape was like no 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 yeah inch. it was like an actual like a like not the little ones like, but like an actual cassette tape yeah yeah okay so um you can make him sing in sync to you <laughs> yes Jackson Five Jack sorry Jeez. <laughs> Jesus Christ so. Um, He's always on my mind. I know. So the data stream controlled the the motors that moved his eyes and mouth, and they could also divert the audio signal to Grubby. So this was the the freakish love child of the giraffe and the mm. caterpillar. So he was the companion toy, and um, he could be hooked up by like like just a different cable and then the this allowed the two to engage so they would talk to each other so they would be so they would by sing cable? their little song t- like together and they would sing back and forth to each other but they had to be hooked together yeah that was in legit order to, as fuck right for so the that 80s. was it was pretty pretty cool for the did 80s. you have the caterpillar grubby? i didn't i didn't i remember him from the cartoon but i just had the ruxpin and i think i only had like a couple cassettes because you got all he did was just 
sit there and tell stories, so I don't know. For me, I think I got them a little bit later. I didn't get them right when I was learning how to read. I was, you know, like, so. I'm over this. This is dumb. So. another episode. Another episode. Um, so, uh, so the the world, Worlds of Wonder, um, picked up this version of the prototype, and they first produced in September of 1985. So he is also... About as old as me. Maybe, a, like, two months older than me. Oh, my so, God. You guys are kindred spirits. He is like my <laughs> Irish twin. He is like your Irish twin. Ooh. Yes. So, they sold 41,000 units in 30 days, which is bananas. And um, by early 1986, so about a year, more than a million had been sold. Um, in 1986, uh, Force's Wish was filled by Deke, which... Deke! <laughs> oh my god, I Do remember, remember that? that? So... Ah! But Sorry, I was an immature, right? And it was my whole body. <laughs> where, Deke! Where he was in the, um... Brought to you by Deke! And he was, like, in the bed, and he would, it would go yeah. out the window. And I was an immature little child, and I was like... Dick. That's what it says. <laughs> <laughs> but phonetically, I'm an idiot, so it's fine. Um, <laughs> it's, it's fine. Yeah. So, he was like in bed. Yeah. yeah and it was it, like for PBS. Deek, and then it was like a deek, And it was like a North Star. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. So. Wow. Nostalgia, <laughs> nostalgia just always brings just it back. Bat in a thousand. Full circle. Right? Right. That wasn't so a of they produced 65 episodes of um, an anime, an animated series exploring the toys mythology, and it was called The Adventures of Teddy Ruxpin, and it was fucking weird. So <laughs> it was, it was just weird, and it was, I just don't know. When I I remember watching it, and I just didn't know if it it felt like for little kids, but it it also at the same time didn't. So. Um, Mr. Force was proud of his invention and told stories of children connecting to the bear as more than a mere toy, including a boy, which I, I tried to do some research Uh-oh. and try to see if I, but I couldn't really find any articles that really back this up. So I don't know. But again, this was back, you know, in the nineties, early, early nineties. So I don't know if maybe it just, Got I lost. just can't find it or whatever. Um, because I'm not, like, sitting here for hours upon hours going, like, I have to find the source to this. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, so I can't, I, I could not really confirm this, but, um, uh, so uh, he, he was super proud of his invention, and one of the stories was about a boy who, would, who woke from his coma because he heard Teddy Ruxpin's voice. Come on. Oh, my God. I kind of doubt that. But that's... Who knows? You know, who knows? Stranger things have happened. The voice of an angel. Now, this one... Maybe that's what Stranger Things is about. Just a weird Teddy Ruxpin thing where they just... The other dimension where that boy was. I don't know. Anyway. Okay. You said Stranger Things, so I thought I could go on it, but I couldn't. Yeah, I know. Um... But this one actually kind of freaked me out because I'm like, this actually could be real, and if it really was real, that would really kind of be... I don't know. So, a girl with cancer who asked for a special Teddy Ruxpin lullaby to be played at her funeral. Oh, my God. I know. So, so she... She, she like, died, and her request was that Teddy Ruxpin... What was the song? I couldn't confirm it, so I don't know. Um... But I don't. Was but it he, like a, but he, it was probably like a. Was there? It was probably one of his songs. Maybe I don't know. But he and it probably was. It probably was one of his from his storybooks, and they sang a little song. But that's so, probably true. It, and it probably was. So he. Took I don't know great if a kid proud. woke up from his coma. I don't think so. But the latter one sounds way more. That true was for his than, new two thousands yeah. launch. Yeah. So he said that story. He, so Mr. Force was like super, super proud of it. They, and he was like, yeah, he, they wake kids from comas. And everyone's like, I say no, motherfucking they children's lives. Yeah, and they read books at their funerals. Like, great. All right. So. Because um, you don't want your grandpa to. No. They just want this creepy animatronic bear to do it. So. Um, <laughs> also in 1987, uh, Worlds of Wonder filed for bankrupt- 
bankruptcy, so ruck spins stopped from being produced until 1991 when they were picked up from Hasbro, and it bumped around like a few more ty- toy ma- manufacturers over the next two decades, and the toy would fall like in an hour of production. Um, so, how long did the show run for? The show ran. For, it had just 65 episodes, and I think it ran from like 67 to 6. Uh, it didn't go backwards. It sure didn't. It went from 86. <laughs> And I think it ran to, like, 87 or 88. Oh. So, pretty short. Also, what I forgot to mention when I had one, which you did not get that pleasure because you only had a doodle bear, you lucky son of a bitch. When the batteries would get low, it would it sound slow. like fucking Satan because Ew. it was terrifying. It was like, come uh. play with me. Like, it was awful. That's so scary. Yeah. It was... That was also nightmare feel. Anyway... So, um, so where is Ruxpin now? Well, he's creepier than ever. In 2017, Wicked Cool Toys began producing versions of Ruxpin, complete with a hipster makeover and LED eyes. <laughs> That's just hipster my... Hipster makeover? Yeah, it's... Well, when you see does it... Does he have a beard and a top hat? He doesn't, but it's he's kind of, like, lost some weight. He's got a little vest. Yeah, it's, it's pretty legit. Yeah. I don't want a skinny teddy bear. Yeah, you'll see. And LED eyes that are just the worst. And then top, and then uh, just they're the just the worst. worst. And then turned off, um, let's just say, <laughs> thank God he comes with a little sleeping mask. He is programmed um, with three stories, and then you can um, purchase additional stories Bluetooth if you want them. to. Yeah, Bluetooth them right in. Um, Grubby also got a makeover, um, but he doesn't, but this one doesn't interact with Ruxpin and he is a great deal smaller than the original. That's so, bullshit. Yeah, so Why does like, Grubby get the makeover? Cause he gets like, he's like a little sing along one. So you can like push on him and then he'll sing like a little song, but he doesn't interact with Ruxpin at all. That's bullshit. How come they can do that in the eighties and they can't do that now? Because they don't want to. Because they're like, we can charge double the price to not do half so, like, the shit. So like for instance, Ruxpin now I think is... I think I wrote it down somewhere, but Ruxpin now is like a hundred bucks and Grubby is only like 25. So they just don't interact with each other. But Poor still a hundred bucks still for a Ruxpin that doesn't really do. He's, so the new one, like he but it's doesn't do anything different. That yeah. they can charge. But they don't do anything. He doesn't do anything different than what he what did before. Saw. So, um, he just doesn't hurt when he gets exactly. He's a lot more cushier. So, um, uh, Ken Force, but he, Ken Force did not get to see the comeback of his beloved creation as he passed away in 2014 at the age of 77, I believe, of heart disease. So, um, so despite the creepy eyes, though, he has actually like generated some like decent reviews. So he actually made has made like a good little comeback. The LED but eyes. I put like I put some pictures on here so you can see. <gasps> so here's like one of them. The new eyes. Yeah, those are this is the new Ruxpin. So he looks like he's on drugs. Are you ready to see? So here's another one. This is like in the dark when his eyes are all lit up. <laughs> Isn't that terrifying? Um, yeah, they're like glowing yeah. blue, but it's... it also looks like he's like has evil face a yeah. little bit. Are you ready to see what he looks like when he's turned off? Oh God. There he is. He looks like a dead bear Yeah, with a vest on a hipster vest. Right. So he's got like a little hipster faux hawk. But they gave him a little sleeping mask yeah, this he's time so fucking because creepy. he's terrifying. They're like, you know what? We probably should just make sure we don't. His eyes are so dark. Yeah. They're like literally they're looking off. into the soul this, of yeah. nothing. Yeah. The devil. So they're pretty terrifying. It's kind of cute and fluffier though. It's definitely a little like cuter. like a mohawk. Yeah, like a little faux hawk. <laughs> yeah, so he's definitely cuter and... Oh Everything else, God, and like I said, like he's so... he's generated pretty decent reviews, so he's made like a decent little comeback. So, yeah. Good so, job, Teddy. That's uh, the little history of Teddy Ruxpin. Are you going to get your kid a Teddy Ruxpin Fuck someday? Fuck no. I don't even have a boy. Before Ooh. I worry about having children, I'm going to – I'll figure out that first. One step at a time before I give them some creepy that's... doll to torment the torment. Did you ever have a Furby? Uh, torment. Torment them with. Did you ever have a Furby? No, my Am sister I did talking though. in this. Yeah, you are. Oh, that oh. actually sounds way better than it my has. Earphones on. Um, my sister actually had a Furby, and it was the most annoying thing ever. I hated it. I used to want one, and then I didn't get one. But 
Annette. Russell, had my tenor friend Annette. Life. And some, I would like sleep over at her house and it would seriously talk to us in the middle of the fucking night. Yeah. We're like asleep. Nope. Pretty sure I was the only one that heard it. Yep. Nope. I'm good. You would talk I don't, to me. I don't like and it. then it was like, I was like, I, I guess I don't need a Furby. I'm glad my parents didn't get me one. I know. Thanks mom and dad for not getting me a Furby. Thanks for not listening to me. Okay. Like, so yeah, that was my that was my little story. Teddy. 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 So do you wanna time. do you wanna give a shout out to our Instagram give our Instagram some love? Oh. Tell them where to find us. Hey guys, we have an Instagram, so you should probably follow us. It's called 30ish, but it's spelled wrong. So don't type in 30ish, you'll find someone that's not us. So it's, it's true. T H U R D Y I S H. 30 ish. Because we can't spell. Because we can't spell as 30 year olds. It's true. That's why we're on here. And I know a lot of you are typing shit on your fucking computers or your phones, and you're like, oh, shh. Thank God I have autocorrect. Yeah. Sometimes I don't like autocorrect because I try to curse and it tells me. Did you mean fudge? Did you mean ducking? Yeah. No, I. I, why would I ever use ducking? Besides if I was ducking when a Teddy Ruxby is thrown at my face. So, yeah. So, check us out on Instagram. 30-ish. We might have an email soon if you want to email us stuff. Oh, yeah. I forgot to do that. (laughs) We could literally do it right now on our We probably could. While we're doing it. Oh, made an email. I just kind of want to wait to see how this plays out. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Anyways, we have Instagram. Anyway. Follow All right. us, like us, and yeah. uh, I think that's don't spell it right. Right. And I think that's uh, the end of our podcast for today. For today. If I sound down the next time we do a podcast, it's because I'm thinking it's about true. the Michael Jackson documentary. It's gonna be. F- it, it'll be no, fine. No, I know. You'll be fine. I'm over exaggerating, but yeah, because you haven't seen it yet, but and because I just it's sad. It's just sad all around. No matter what, it's just sad all around. It's the slaughterhouse. It is. Truth. It is. Anyway, so, yeah. Well, that was fun. It was fun. A little rambly, but, you know. It's getting dark out on this. I know. On the uh, prairie. Yeah, out here on the prairie. (laughs) The little haunted house on the prairie. Well, then I need to leave if it's going to get dark. I'm not going to sit in a haunted house. Yeah, it's going to get real haunted in this bitch. Yeah. It's about to get weird as fuck. Well, I can't wait till we uh, hit a, a, well, not hit, but roll a paranormal one. That'll I be know. good. Yeah, we're definitely, if we roll paranormal, we're not doing it in this fucking house. No, we're going to do it in because my very come out recently like, built Oh, you want some townhouse. paranormal activity, bitches? Yeah. Like, nope. We got it. Not going to invite that shit in the hair. Mm-mm. No, Mm-mm-mm-mm. no. And it's, you know, if there is anything here, I think it's like not evil. No, I don't think so either. You're fine. Someone did say there's a little girl that runs around. What the fuck, dude? Like, I don't want to know that. They're not in the house. She runs around on the property. Even worse. I gotta run to my car. Yes, you do. You better run fast. She runs around the property. She just, like, skips around. Like, with, like, one of, like, the sticks and hoops? Or, like, what are we... (laughs) What are we talking here? (laughs) She just skips with her little dead dog. She's kidding. Why am I talking about this? Oh my god. We love you, little girl. Just stay outside forever. Oh my, oh my god. god. We gotta go. We gotta go. I gotta. I gotta I go gotta, home. I gotta pack this up. <laughs> All right. Okay. We love until you. next week. Thank See you guys. Love you. Bye. Bye.